What's going on YouTube? This is Austin with Teeth and Horns. Um, today, I'm gonna actually be reviewing a pair of shorts that I ordered off 10,000.com. Um, um, and today I'm actually drinking a little bit of coffee. I'm starting to feel a little under the weather. Everyone around me is getting sick. It's that type of time of year. But um, this is my first video review. <clears throat> um, ever um, basically what I'm going to be doing in each time I do a recording I'm either going to be talking about something that has to do with the CrossFit community whether it be sanctionals, the CrossFit games the open, different products that I'm using um, when I'm doing my own CrossFit workouts um and yeah, uh, majority of it's probably gonna be products, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, so we'll get started. By the way, um, drinking uh, some Joe Van Gogh coffee um, straight out of Chapel Hill. And I actually French press this. this stuff is awesome. I mean, this is a uh, espresso roast. I mean, talk about a way to wake up. Anyways, good stuff. All right, so let's get started. Um, this is not an official review. Basically, I literally just got this package about, I don't know, 30 minutes ago. And I did open it to kind of just check it, check it out, make sure everything was in there and just kind of try on the shorts real quick just so that way I could give you guys a little bit of insight on how they actually fit. Um, yeah, so here we go. So uh, the shorts actually came just in this in this box. Uh, no, no fancy, um, no fancy packaging, which is okay. I mean, just shorts. Like they have to be bubble wrapped or anything like that. So I thought the way that they packaged and shipped it was all right. So I ordered a few different pairs. I ordered the red ones. What is there? What are these? These are, I believe these are the black ones. And another color called uh, Stone Blue, but uh, from the picture it looked more like a like a gray color almost. Um, they do have um, they do have a darker gray color, but I wasn't feeling those quite so much. And they also have a navy, which I would have totally gotten the navy instead of the Stone Blue ones, but they were completely sold out. What are you gonna do? Um, inside the box, all it came with was a packing slip. Um, so, um, when you get them, you're gonna you're gonna get them in a nice, nice bag. It's got their logo right there. Let's check them out. And they come like almost like packaged like with some like sort of adhesive it's almost you know, kind of strange strange way to package shorts but it works I was trying not to tear the bag in case you know I had to return something or like I said, I've only taken a look at one pair of shorts, so. So these are the black ones. As you can see, they have, um, these are actually the 10,000 foundation shorts. Um, these are supposed to be specifically really tailored towards 
CrossFit athletes just because the material that they use, I mean, it feels like a board shorts material, but a little bit thicker, feels a little bit more durable, does have like a two-way stretch to it. Um, I mean, all in all, just, you know, taking a look at the seams and everything like that. I mean, they seem super well made. Um, we got two front pockets here. One on each side. And then also a smaller zippered pocket on this side. I'm guessing like if you're want to throw your AirPods in there or your wallet, whatever, you know. Um, but definitely not big enough for a phone in my opinion. Um, I mean, and then again, I guess it depends what phone phone you have. I have the uh, iPhone 11 Pro Max, so there's no way that big boy's gonna fit in that pocket. But, um, oh, the logo on the back of the shorts, I thought that's a nice touch. Um, these are definitely gonna be um, on the upper end of training shorts. I mean, I'm not sure what, you know, what most people are using to train, whether they're just using, you know, regular Reebok, um, whether, you know, just regular, regular Reebok, um, gym shorts. I know for a while Reebok was coming out with like all these different like CrossFit shorts with like this almost Kevlar stuff on your, um, on the front of your quads, um, were basically, basically on the pant front. Um, and I guess that was to prevent like damage when you're doing snatches and when you're doing like cleans and things like that. But, um, these, these don't have anything like that. I mean, like I said, the material's just super durable. Um, but, let you guys take a look at each color that I got. Again, I got three colors. That was the, those were the black ones. These are the stone blue ones. Like I said, to me that just doesn't really look blue. Um, like I said, I nah, I guess it could be blue. Anyways, looks a little bit more gray to me. Um, again, nice color. Um, Material feels great. I can tell these are going to be super comfortable. Um, and I did try a pair on um, earlier. And like I said, the amount of mobility that you have in, um, in the shorts is just really nice. I mean, you're not going to have any problem uh, doing any sort of workout or any sort of movement in these shorts. Um, One thing, um, I was a little, anytime I'm buying shorts or honestly anything online, I'm always a little bit wary of buying it just because, um, just because you never really know what you're getting. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one thing to look at a picture on the internet and kind of make an, an assumption of what the product's going to actually be. It's another to actually have it in your hand and then purchase it, you know what I'm saying? So I was always a little hesitant, especially with the sizing. So with all three of these, I got them without the liner. Um, not, a big, not a big liner guy with shorts. Uh, some people are, not my thing. Um, but, uh, so I got all three without the liner, and uh, that honestly saved me about 10 bucks a piece on each short. Um, so I saved $30 right there. Um, used a discount code for, uh, what was it? I think 30% off, and I'll put that discount code in the, um, in the link below. Um, and also, I was a little hesitant on um, on the length of the leg. So I got the nine inch inseam and I don't really like my shorts to be riding 
like all the way up here. Um, I like my shorts to kind of just stop just, you know, just above the knee. That's just me. I'm not, you know, my quads are not impressive enough to show off. So what are you going to do? Um, I also, I got the shorts in a 33, 34. Um, I, I'm, six foot i weigh approximately 200 to 210 pounds i kind of float between two to ten um kind of just depending on what i'm what my diet is and how much i'm actually working out lately it hasn't been a lot because i injured my back recently um but i mean like i said i'm feeling great today i'm probably gonna end up getting back in the gym today Last but not least, the red ones. Um, this is probably, honestly, one of my favorite colors that they have. And these were actually on sale. So these were like, I think a whole like, I think these shorts were actually 36 compared to uh, 60. Um, so yeah. But these are the red ones. You can see the logo there. One thing I will say again about the sizing is, like I said, I, I, I ordered a 33 to 34. Um, I think the sizing is a little bit more forgiving than, um, than the website says or what you may have heard from other reviewers um, because you actually have this elastic right here in the back it's only in the back not the front so the whole front is kind of like kind of board short like you know you tie it in the front and there's no there's no lack elastic in the front but in the back you got quite a bit of uh elastic so i definitely think these shorts are more forgiving which you know is great in turn because you know they fit snug on me now, and I am trying to, you know, get my body fat percentage down a little bit more. So I know that in, let's say, a month and a half, two months, these shorts are still probably going to fit me. You know, especially, you know, if I drop another 10 pounds, like, those shorts will probably still fit me. And that's one of the big selling points for me on them. Um... Again, like I said, I haven't tried them out in a workout yet, but I'm going to actually be doing that today. I'm going to actually try, I'm going to, I'm going to probably do a couple workouts with them and I'll probably do another actual review review of the shorts, um, probably in a few weeks from now after I've had time to kind of wear them around and see what they're like. All right. Um, I think that's pretty much it. If you guys, uh, enjoyed the review, um, go ahead and go to, uh, at teeth and horns on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Um, I'm trying to get an Instagram page put up and I'm going to, you know, do all the linking of that together. Like I said, it's going to be your source for news, um, reviews. I'm going to post some of the workouts that I'm doing. Um, and, um, yeah, also I'm going to probably be getting some t-shirts and stuff like that put out. Um, we'll see where it goes from there. All right. Thanks guys.